Welcome as John Coleman, Bill Jordan, and I opine on stuff. On st important stuff for baby well boomers, right, Bill? Well boomer, put. Boomer Absolutely. stuff. Baby yes. boomer stuff. Baby boomer, yeah. baby boomer banter. Yes. <laughs> oh, banter. Yes. Banter. Hey, hey Bill, um, you know, we've been gathering uh, together, the three of us, for over, well over a year. I don't know. We have over 100 videos. We've talked about stuff. Um, but a lot of people may not know that you ha are retired from a very successful radio career. You are on the radio in uh, the southern states, I call it. But uh, you had a very successful run doing telethons, talking to all kinds of famous people. And morning radio guy, you must have talked, done a lot of interviews with famous people over the years. I don't think people realize that you, in your own right, are a famous person in that regard. <laughs> no, it's funny. You know, it's funny. I, I always call radio is like the lowest rung on the showbiz ladder. The <laughs> lowest you know, rung hey, on the hey, showbiz Phil, ladder. Stop bragging. Yeah, you're not even on the ladder. What are you talking about? You're holding the <laughs> ladder for somebody, you know? So, yeah, but I've been very fortunate to uh, to meet a lot of, of, quote, celebrities. I find celebrity kind of a, a silly notion, although there have been some that I've been kind of like, wow, I'm meeting this guy. Typically yeah. sports, sports people I grew up with are, you know, idolizing my sports heroes. I was kind of, you know, starstruck when I would meet them. But um one of my favorite stories of meeting a, I mean, a star, movie star, Charlton Heston. Sure. Charlton oh, Heston. Sorry. In 1997, Charlton Heston wrote a book called To Be a Man, Letters to My Grandson. And in it, he talked to his grandson about what it meant for trust and friendship and doing a good job and, and all that stuff. Well, he was coming into Raleigh for a book signing at one of our big bookstores and my morning show partner at the time, Donna Mason, who we lost last year, um, rest in peace and may her memory be eternal, great lady. She had a connection at this bookstore and managed to have them say that, that Charlton Heston would join us on the morning show and he would join us on whatever the date was at 8.30 in the morning. Well, I'd been in the business long enough to know that anytime a celebrity says they're gonna call or they're gonna show up, it's not unusual to have them just blow you off. So I was quite honestly, Charlton Heston being Charlton Heston, I mean, just how big he was. I figured hey, he's going to be busy. He's not going to some little morning show in Raleigh, North Carolina. I didn't anticipate that he would show up. So he was to be there at 830. At 820, the studio door opened and in walks Charlton Heston. And it's like, holy smoke, you know, and so people are coming in. The studio were crammed. It wasn't that big. And one of our Co-workers had a camera back in the old days with a big camera with, you know, lenses and flashes and all that stuff. And just pop, 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 taking all these pictures of him. And he finally turned to him and said with that voice of God of his, isn't one enough? <laughs> and they stopped. And I thought, uh-oh, this may not go too well. So I like to, <clears throat> in interviews, I like to have some kind of camaraderie with them or build some sort of relationship before we actually would go on the air. But I didn't have time to do that. So when the, we cracked the mics and, you know, Charlton Heston's joining us in the studio, the first thing I said to him was, when I was a kid, my peers and I, at least and maybe you guys did or didn't. When I was a kid, we would always confuse Dustin Hoffman and Al Pacino. And I said, and I understand that you used to get confused for Burt Lancaster. And he said, <laughs> that, that reminds me of a funny story. Gold. He wow. said, he said, Kirk Douglas told me one time that he was out in his front yard doing some yard work and a guy walked by and yelled to him, I loved you in the Ten Commandments. <laughs> <laughs> and Kirk Douglas yelled back, 
I wasn't in the Ten Commandments. And the guy yelled back at Kirk, well, if you're not Burt Lancaster, who the hell are you? <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then ah. we had a great chat. We had a great chat. And That's so then, you know, he, he was going to be on his way, but we wanted a photo. Wanted to get a photo with Charlton Heston. Yeah. yeah. So Donna, Donna and I are standing next to Charlton Heston. And the, the photography person on our staff who had been in there before went pop. And I stepped away. One <laughs> shot isn't one enough. I stepped away. He grabbed me. Charlton Heston grabbed me by the arm, pulled me back, and said, she needs another. Oh. And that is like the best story I've got of meeting a celebrity. Wow. Great story. Cool. Yeah. Great story. But I've always remembered that. Yeah. If, well, if you're not Burt Lancaster, yeah. <laughs> like, man, that guy was, that guy was wrong twice. <laughs> so any, anyway, so that's your story. I think we ought to headline this one. Charlton Heston embraces Bill Jordan. Yeah. yeah well, you put it. <laughs> embrace you put embrace it. the Jordan. <laughs> there you go great story bill well guys great to share that with you i hope that you did enjoy that i just would like to encourage my fellow baby boomers such as yourselves to okay. live your life forget your age and embrace the boom the mug is available at bill jordan embrace the boom.com free shipping domestically and uh my book embrace the boom is available at amazon and barnesandnoble.com and all that stuff hey, wherever fine books are sold or their website and anyway it's a handy dandy guide to just leading a, I think, a better life as we get older or any time in our life for that matter. Thank you for it having me on again. It certainly is. And uh, it's not filled with great stories about Charlton Heston. For that, you have to come to Celebrating Act Two. There you go. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.